Financial inclusion, in my view, means re reducing friction costs for both households, individuals, um, SMEs, um, to have the ability to get access to credit, to borrow, and to have really access to financial services at a very affordable cost. Uganda needs to do a little bit more in providing both affordable and accessible credit and financial services to, to the entire populace. We've recently launched an SME incubator which tries to identify some of the other challenges that these SMEs face. We put them through a 90-day training we provide a mentor for about 12 months after that and we feel like that's a really good intervention in making um, these SMEs and small businesses sustainable because that's where the problem is and they are really um, create 90% of the new jobs in the country. We're also leveraging agency banking which has been a huge success. In the three months that agency bank has been running, it now accounts for almost 15% of our transactional volumes. The other issue I think that the country faces is deepening the financial markets. There's a huge reliance on banks as the only source of capital. But if you look at more developed markets, banks actually only account for 30%. 70% of source of financing should come from pension funds, uh, mutual funds, savings schemes, etc. The level of savings as well in the country is quite low. 30% of the uh, population still keeps money in cash, so that cash is not coming back into the ecosystem to allow banks and other you know, financial institutions to then put it to work. So we need to work on not just banks, but also widening uh, the net in terms of financial service providers going forward. Financial inclusion, in my view, is taking financial services to the excluded and making it affordable and, uh, and accessible. Mm -hmm.